face, Cookies, Gogglies, but it's over. They'll be appearing this Friday at the Crooked Eye at 1013 State Street. Sorry, kitties, gotta have your id. It's gonna be a good night. God Bullies from Michigan. Classic punk from back in the day. With local classic punk from all times. My three scum and the tradesman. The tradesman in studio, gentlemen, welcome. Hey, hey, hey what's going on, man? Cool. Um, please feel free to introduce yourselves, your positions in the band. Uh, I'm TJ, I'm the guy with the microphone. Uh, I'm John, I play rhythm and lead guitar in the band. Jason Slaughter, uh, new guy bass player. <laughs> I'm Brian, I'm the uh, bagpiper, tin whistle player, and do a little bit of trombone work too. Awesome, you guys, so cool to have you on the show. Um, you guys have been gigging around for a while. Talk about your part in the, uh, the Erie music scene right now and what you think is going on. And I mean, being a part of this show is kind of a big deal. So uh, please elaborate on your uh, your feelings. Um, tell us about your feelings. Yes, please yeah, share your feelings. Talk about my feelings on the show. Get in touch <laughs> with your inner child and, uh, and let me know. If I don't on the couch first. If I talk, <laughs> if I talked about my feelings, it'd be an FCC violation. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk about my feelings. But um, basically, I mean, the band's been around uh, since '03, and uh, a lot of things have changed from the initial band up until today, um, the lineups obviously changed and uh, our sound has changed a lot from, you know, we were pretty like hardcore punk oi and we kind of took this turn because we, we didn't play a lot for a little while and I think it was getting a little bit stale and we decided to take it a little bit differently when we got back into it and uh, that's kind of where it ended up going. Um, as far as today, I mean, uh, we've done a, <clears throat> a bunch of different stuff, and we play sometimes, you know, uh, here, but a lot of gigs we play, you know, people don't know about them because they're out of town, but um, I think that, you know, it's a little bit unfortunate because, you know, in the 90s, when I played in another band, another punk rock band, the punk scene, I think, was a lot stronger then than it is now, because, you know, there's all these things out now that, you know, they call punk rock, which I don't necessarily agree with, or whatever. It's about 40. But, uh, <clears throat> it's changed a lot, but, like, the roots are still there, you know, and I think that's a pretty, pretty good thing, so we just try to keep it going, we're just trying to keep it up and do the best we can, you know. And make everybody proud, you know. So. And, and I mean, in, in, in any sector of the uh, of the radio business, you have to have to cut your own thing. I um, mean, we have seven guys on stage, uh, including a bagpipe, an accordion, uh, Irish tin whistle. I mean, we got a little bit of everything on the stage. It's all totally unique. I mean, I don't know of any bands in the area that do the same kind of stuff we do. Uh, a lot of original music, uh, some cover stuff. We took a band from a fairly light-hearted Irish folk band and we turned it into a pretty hard driving punk song called uh, The Old Black Rum, uh, which is partly my creation. It just, it, it's fun and uh, I enjoy it being a classically trained trombone player and going out and doing something completely out of my element. Right. right? Like, you, you don't go to college and get a degree in punk rock. <laughs> it, it's totally an education. I'm, I'm still learning things every day and I mean, I'm, I'm loving it. I mean, if my teacher ever heard how I play on stage, I'd I mean, be... What do you mean spit on that guy? I said spit on that guy. This is punk rock. This yeah. ain't college, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, classically, if you if you get drunk, you don't dare go on stage. Meanwhile, it's like, dude, you're sober. What are you doing? It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's totally different. Uh, I'm loving every second of it. I mean, I think we found our own little niche, and I think I mean, we got tons of potential. Got a, everybody in the band is a great player, you know? Very cool. Uh, uh, real, that's because, you know why? That's because we're a drinking band with a working problem. <laughs> that's, that's the whole, and sometimes we play music. Thing. Yeah, and, the, and music falls out of that. You know, the, the real challenge of uh, being a tradesman is uh, trying to get all seven of us up on the stage because everybody's jumping around and, and things are falling over. And uh, we played one show where Brian had to get down on the floor and play his bagpipes. In front of the monitor. <laughs> yeah, in front of the monitor, he's getting his ears blown out and, you know, crap going <coughs> on from the stage and, and everything. It's, uh, the crowd was mayhem and it was, uh, it was a challenge fitness on the stage, but we made it happen. And Andy, our accordion player, was actually sitting on top of the monitor across from me. He's just sitting there. He looked like a like a parrot with an accordion, just sitting there rocking back and forth. <laughs> he had the bird's eye view. 
I mean, it was a great show. Uh, it's one of the best shows I think we've had. But it was just, it was like, there's seven of us, man. Yeah, None of us play small things. Yeah. Yeah. When it's a small stage, the only time I could actually get on stage is when I had the little Irish tin whistle. It's what eight inches long. I'm sitting there like this, and I'm like, okay, now I feel like an idiot just standing here. So I'm air guitaring on the tin whistle. Nothing, nothing makes you feel more alive when you get hit in the face with a headstock of a guitar <laughs> <laughs> or a bass drum. You try not to sweat into the cut, but it doesn't happen. But the crowd loves it. <laughs> let's uh, let's take a peek from your album, The Barstool Battle Cry. Here's right. a tradesman with uh, "We Want to Know" on Face Geekies. Looking out on the city lights, seems a little too quiet tonight. You're wondering what you're gonna do. When all you do is sacrifice to scrape by in life It seems like the world's on top of you And the bright light of the future It slowly dims away Just to stand over Seems my politicians to betray How many children need to stop Yelling in the street for something's done yeah, Anyone We fight to live We live to fight We're the warriors of the American dream We'll be giving all in the name of greed We want to know When every day seems like a fight You push forward with all your might While they try to bring you to your knees Cuts are closing on the working class And we'll be sitting with an empty glass So soon be nothing left for you and me And the bright light of the future It slowly dims away Drop the sand over Sees my politicians who betray How many children need to stop Out in the street for something's done Yeah, anyone 